Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 27th of February 1933, the Reichstag building in Berlin was set on fire in an arson attack. Adolf Hitler had been appointed Chancellor of Germany on the 30th of January, but had demanded new elections for the Reichstag. These were scheduled to take place across Germany on the 5th of March. Hitler hoped that they would increase the Nazi share of the seats and therefore allow him to pass the Enabling Act and take control of political decisions himself. Shortly after 9pm on the evening of the 27th of February, propaganda chief Joseph Goebbels was informed that the Reichstag was on fire. Although the blaze was extinguished before midnight, the inside of the building was destroyed. Communists were blamed for starting the fire, and Dutch communist Marius van der Lubbe was found and arrested. The following day, Hitler persuaded President Hindenburg to pass the emergency Decree of the Reich President for the Protection of People and State. This suspended many civil liberties and allowed the Nazis to arrest their opponents. Thousands of communists, liberals and social democrats were rounded up by the SA and placed in so-called protective custody. Van der Lubbe was tried, convicted and executed. Although there is debate over the exact circumstances surrounding the fire, historian Sir Ian Kershaw says there is a general consensus among the vast majority of scholars that Van der Lubbe did set the fire. There is no argument, however, that the fire was exploited by the Nazis, who used it as their first step in the creation of a single-party state. (laughs) 